Welcome to City Roundup, brought to you by the City of Pensacola, with your host, Saida Rosa. City Roundup is your one-stop shop for everything having to do with the City of Pensacola. And now, Saida. Happy June, Pensacola. Thanks for joining us for another episode of City Roundup. I'm your host, Saida Rosa, with the City of Pensacola. Mayor Grover Robinson had a work day with the Parks and Recreation Department recently. He spoke with reporters during his weekly press conference about what he learned. Work day last week, last Wednesday with Parks and Rec. Uh, it was really impressive to see all the things that go on. It is amazing. I've said before, I think right after sort of people pay that extra millage because they're expecting their, um, they're expecting to get uh, additional police and fire protection, uh, but they're also expecting additional things in parks and recreation. And uh, our team does a great job. Uh, I thought everything that we were able to do, uh, went out and got a, yeah, was able to get in a bucket truck. Uh, I mowed the outfield at uh, Roger Scott, um, laid a couple of lines. That was the, that was the most that was the that was the scariest part because putting that paint in is is permanent. So uh, so making sure the line was straight at, on the ball fields. Wanted to make sure we did that right. Um, then we uh, had a chance to do a few more things. If you're on social media, make sure to follow Mayor Robinson. Just search Pensacola Mayor on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Pensacola is getting some great national recognition for being a desirable place to live. Tanya Vaden and John Scalen host this week's news show from downtown to tell us about what publication is highlighting our great city. They also talk about the upcoming hurricane season and how your family should be prepared. Those topics and more coming up right now. Welcome back to another episode of Our City News Show. I'm your host, John Scanlon. And I'm Tanya Vaden, and we're in beautiful downtown Pensacola to tell you why our city is being recognized nationally. MSN Money named Pensacola one of their top 25 desirable places to live. They compiled their list based off of the top 50 best places to live. The article highlights the beaches that come with a southern feel. The article features the size of the metro population, median home price, and median annual salary. We were also recognized in the Jackson Magazine for the transformation of Palafox Street. The magazine states the city has played the urban revitalization game of small ball to perfection. It also highlights our designation of one of the 10 great streets in America. Switching topics now, hurricane season is officially upon us, and here at the city of Pensacola, we want to make sure you and your family are prepared. Last week, Mayor Grover Robinson released a public service announcement to go over the information you need to know to make safe decisions, like your evacuation zone, items you should have ready, and ways to receive communications. Hurricane season runs from June 1st to November 30th. You can watch the PSA on our YouTube channel. Senator Rick Scott stopped by Pensacola to join Mayor Grover Robinson in talking about storm preparedness. They want to remind Floridians the hurricane tax-free holiday runs now until June 6th. So if you want to stock up on disaster-related supplies, now is a good time to do so. Eligible items include generators, batteries, flashlights, portable radios, and tarps, just to name a few. City of Pensacola has a new assistant city administrator. We would like to welcome Kara Fiddler to the team. Mr. Fiddler comes to the city of Pensacola from Kissimmee, where he currently serves as the public works and engineering director, a position he has held since 2014. He graduated from Florida International University with a Master of Science in Construction Management and Bachelor of Design in Architecture. Well, before we go, Parks and Recreation has some exciting news for wiffle ball enthusiasts. Parks and Recreation is co-sponsoring Championship Wiffle Ball Tournament hosted by Backyard Rule. This tournament will be on Friday, July 26th at Exchange Park. The cost to play is $125 per team with four to five players per team. Register online at backyardrule.com and search for the Pensacola Tournament under their Tournaments and Events page. We are also starting Open Gym Wiffle Ball Nights on Thursday at the Vickery Center from 6 to 8 p.m. starting June 6th. The cost is $1 per person and is open to ages 14 and up. That's all we have for you on this episode of Our City News Show. We thank you for watching, and we will see you next, next week. week. Technology is a huge part of our daily lives, and for our Pensacola Fire Department, it can be life-saving. On this episode of City Spotlight, Fire Chief Jenny Craner thanks the community for allowing the department to purchase six new infrared cameras and shows us how they are used by her firefighting team. Today we are going to look at our thermal imaging cameras. 
these cameras can see heat signatures. So it depends on the temperature of objects. And obviously they're looking for victims inside of fires with the cameras. Hi, I'm Fire Chief Jenny Craner with the Pensacola Fire Department. Obviously inside of a fire, there's a lot of smoke, there's a lot of heat, and then we go in there with hose lines and spray water, and then that changes the entire thermal balance inside of that space, which makes it difficult to see anything. Sometimes you can't even see the hand in front of your face. These cameras help us see through that smoke, see through that steam, and find victims trapped in the fire. So this camera shines a beam like a flashlight. It shines a beam toward the space. These cameras are programmed to take the temperature of common construction materials. Really, it's block and it's sheetrock that these cameras are measuring. But we don't just search for victims with these cameras. We also can look at hazardous material situations. We can see power lines with it at night. We could find victims if there was a terrible car crash. We could see if anyone had been ejected. So there's more things than just fires that we use the cameras for. We have six brand new thermal imaging cameras purchased with LOST money. So thank you to Pensacola. And we have two of the older cameras on our ladder companies. So every fire company in the city of Pensacola has a thermal imaging camera now thanks to the LOST funding. These cameras are essential to our equipment. But the most important part of this camera is the firefighter operating the camera. The firefighter is trained to understand what that image is doing. It's just a computer sending a digital image to this screen. And that firefighter with a mask on is the person that's trained to understand what that image means and act in whatever way it is. And then we need our firefighters in there to, to rescue the victims if one is found. For more episodes of City Spotlight and New Show, visit our YouTube channel. Search City of Pensacola. We'll be right back after this. Natural gas homes are in demand. Here's what home builders have to say. Gas provides a wonderful selling advantage over electricity. Customers love cooking with natural gas. It gets hotter faster. The temperature is actually more controllable. Energy efficiency absolutely plays a part with our decision to put natural gas in our homes. It's much more efficient for our customers to use natural gas. Natural gas from Pensacola Energy. The clean, reliable, earth-friendly choice. Natural gas dryers may cost a little more than electric ones, but they dry clothes quicker, making them cost half as much to run. So now who's getting taken to the cleaners? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. We now turn to our green tip of the week. Go paperless. You can receive most, if not all, bills and statements electronically nowadays. Don't print off documents unless it's absolutely necessary. You can also help in the process by recycling paper you no longer need. The city is looking for great people to be a part of our team. This week's feature job is for a police officer. This is non-supervisory police work in the protection of life and property through the enforcement of laws and ordinances. Learn more and apply online at PensacolaCityJobs.com. Some food for thought for your Friday. And this episode of Coastal Cooking Quick Bites, host John Scanlon from Pensacola Energy shows how to use natural gas to make pecan crusted grouper. On this episode of Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites, we have pecan crusted grouper with Frangelico sauce. Stick around and find out how it's done. Welcome to Coastal Cooking Quick Bites, brought to you by Pensacola Energy. Hey, welcome to Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites. I'm your host, John Scanlon, and I have a very special guest with me today, uh, a fellow co-worker with Pensacola Energy, one of our marketing specialists. We have Jim Bootery. Jim, what are you making for us today? Well, today, John, we're making uh, pecan crusted grouper with frangelico sauce. And this recipe comes from, uh, if some of you might remember this uh, old restaurant, it's called the, the Yacht Restaurant. It was located in Pitt Slip back in the 90s. So anyhow, this is uh, another quick dish we're gonna do today. We're gonna mix up some finely chopped pecans along with some Italian breadcrumbs. And let me grab something, kind of mix that up there with there, buddy. All right, so we get this combination kind of stirred in. We have some grouper fillets over there, fresh grouper fillets. We're gonna pass these through flour. 
first. Get them in there, coat them with flour. We're gonna coat them, pass them through some milk. And then onto our chopped pecans. Now you had regular pecans and you just ran them through a food processor? I and sure did, man. That was an awesome way to do it. Just run them through the food processor. Don't have to worry about spending the time. Tedious time of cutting, chopping up pecans. And this recipe is actually, it can be found uh, in the Fiesta Seafood Cookbook. It's 25 years of history from the Fiesta Seafood Grill. Uh, Pensacola Energy has the uh, grill. We have a lot of different chefs come on uh, every year at the uh, Pensacola Seafood Festival. 25 uh, years of history in this book. You can buy it for $15. Uh, and all the proceeds go to the Escambi Utility Assistance Program, which is a, a program for the elderly and for the disabled to help pay the utility bills. And it comes with just a ton of excellent restaurants, uh, some that aren't with us anymore, like Jim was saying, the Yacht Restaurant. Uh, so if you remember that, then remember the Angus. They're, they're in this book, and it's an excellent gift. Uh, and it has these really good recipes in it as well. All right. While we're kind of getting that together, we're going to let our some oil heat up in our pan. We've got it on a medium heat right now while that oil heats up, and then we'll, we'll kick it up while we're letting that happen. We'll continue... Doing this real quick, sorry. And this is just a basic wash, just flour into the milk, boom. Into the pecan and Italian seasoning mix there. All right. Now we're putting our group of fillets in the pan. And letting those cook at a medium high heat. And let's see, about th uh, five to seven minutes per side. Pensacola is my hometown, and I've never had pecan crusted croup before, so I'm intrigued. I can't, I can't wait. This is some, uh, some very good stuff. There's some variations of this recipe um, that I've come across uh, from New Orleans. Um, there's a, a pecan crusted saffron sauce uh, grouper dish from Commander's Palace. It's very similar to this. Um, and what I do when I cook that at home, in order to kind of save some time, I'll get things going on a cast iron skillet uh, and, and get my group of fillets in there, but then I'll put them in the oven and let them finish cooking in the oven mm -hmm. uh, for about 15, 18 minutes at 400. Uh, but it's, it's a different dish, and I'd like to do that one day <laughs> for you as well. It'd be pretty good. Well, that's what I like about these recipes that are in the, the uh, Fiesta Seafood Cookbook is they, they do have some really simplistic ones that are easy. I mean, and this is pretty easy as well. It's, you know, just a couple ingredients. Uh, looks phenomenal, it's different than what I would normally make. Um, and I don't know why, because this is very doable. Very good dish, especially using pecans from a uh, local uh, store here, Renfro Pecans. I mean, you know, you know, Renfro Pecans, we got grouper from Joe Patty's, <laughs> uh, and cooking with Pitsco Energy, natural gas. Yeah. Don't get any better than that, folks. All right, we're gonna turn these over. Get the other sides going. Trying to get the coloration of the top of these group of fillets here, how that uh, pecan is starting to show its color and cook in and getting crisp on top. Can't wait to sink our teeth into that. So this has about five or seven minutes and then? Probably about five or seven minutes left. 
and then we're going to take them off, slide them off on the plate, and then we'll start with the uh, with the sauce that goes on top of it. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Our group of fillets are just about done. So let's go ahead and plate a few of these up here. And we'll grab one more out of here for we slide this over. Boy, it looks pretty good. That, that looks amazing. I love how, how the pecans just uh, It's like come grouper out. pork chops. <laughs> That's <is> awesome. <laughs> we'll take that. All right. Now, next thing we got to do is prepare our, uh, our sauce to go on top of the pecan crusted grouper. This is the frangelico sauce that we were talking about earlier. So let's get started with that. First off, we're going to have uh, some uh, heavy cream. And again, this recipe is in the uh, our seafood festival cookbook. All right, we've got the heavy cream going. Um, we're going to put in our frangelica liqueur. God, it's got a great smell. And then just a little salt and pepper to taste there. So you're just waiting for this to want to this thicken gonna, a little bit? This is going to reduce a little bit. Yeah, right. It's going to reduce down. Let the uh, the water content cook out of the cream and thicken a little. All right, Johnny, we brought our sauce up to a little boil there. Got all the water content out. Now we're ready to shut the fire off on here. And we're going to put that, drizzle that right on top of our grouper. Pecan crusted grouper fillets with frangelica cream sauce. Okay. That looks fantastic. Great there job, Jim. So you can find this recipe and many more like it in the Fiesta Seafood Cookbook, A Taste of Pensacola. Uh, and if you'd like to purchase that book, give us a call at 850-436-5050. Get 25 years of history from the Fiesta Seafood Grill at the Pensacola Seafood Festival and all the proceeds from the sales of the cookbook Go to the Scam Utility Assistance Program, helping the elderly and the disabled pay the utility bills. Uh, each book's $15. Make sure to hit, hit subscribe. Follow the other videos from Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites. Learn some other great recipes, and we'll see you next time. This has been Coastal Cooking Quick Bites, brought to you by Pensacola Energy. That's all we have for this episode of City Roundup. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you, same place, same time, next week. This has been City Roundup with Saida Rosa. City Roundup is the city of Pensacola's one-stop shop for everything having to do with Pensacola. Join us again each Friday at 8 a.m. for more of City Roundup.